What is going on guys, this is Johnny of Ashcoming on YouTube and welcome back to another video in the Android Studio app development tutorials and I'm really sorry that I haven't really been uploading anything at all for about three weeks that was just because I wasn't at home for three weeks so I'm sorry guys but now I'm back again sorry for my absence but uh, I will be able to upload more videos now because I'm gonna be staying at home now for quite a while okay so uh, we're gonna continue with our um, Contact manager, I guess. Yes, our contact manager. And when we left off, we were actually at this uh, contact listed app. Then we just created our constructor here. And I haven't really been programming all that much. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what we actually want to do, uh, we are going to need to create a function to actually get our view, and we are going to need to return an element in the array list. So we're basically going to need to create one view which is going to have all the um, text views and all that stuff in that view. Okay, that might be a little confusing but you can just imagine this as kind of adding an event, uh, an event, as adding an element to our list. So this is going to be a, con a custom element which is right here if we're going to load the layout here. So we're going to have our item right here as you can see and this is exactly what we're going to add. So we're going to add this as one item of our list. So this is not going to be our complete list, this is just going to be one item and this is exactly what we're going to add in the code right here. Alright, so this is actually part of this um, class right here. So this is... Uh, uh, this function already exists, so you actually have to override it. So the function is called get a view, and this is actually going to return a view. So we're just going to do public view, get view, and then we're going to need to pass through some parameters. So this first one is going to be the position. Then we're going to actually have the view. So this is just going to be called, I think I'm just going to call it view right now. And then we're going to have a view group, which is basically just going to be the parent of our group. So, hold on, I'm just going to quickly import this. Oh, alt. Okay. Alt hit enter. And I think I did not hit enter. Did I? Okay, I did. Okay, and then just going to call this parent. Alright, so now just going to put some parentheses here. Um, curly braces actually, but okay. Um, so, as you can obviously see right here, we have to return a view. Now, before we actually do this, we're going to need to check some things. So, we're going to see if the view, which it actually gets, is already inflated by the menu, uh, by the uh, layout. So, we are going to do if view is equal to null, then we're going to do... Oh, actually, we can put this here because this does not need code braces. Um, so, we can just do view equals to get layout inflator dot inflate and now we're gonna do r r dot layout dot and now this is basically just gonna be our list view item right here and then we have to pass through the parent and also this is um a boolean right here that's it's just gonna say false. So this is gonna be fine for now. So I'm I'm just quickly gonna explain this to you. So if the view is equal to null, then it says that there's basically not an instance of this or whatever. So we actually have to get the layout inflator and inflate it, um, inflate this view. And once we're done with that, uh, we are just you know it's just gonna pass through all the parameters. So it basically the view is not null anymore, which is just what we want because we actually need this. So. Um, now we are going to need to create a contact. So we're just going to do contact, and I'm just going to go ahead and call this current contact right here. And then we're just going to do contacts. I think it's contacts. Yeah, that was the list. So contacts dot get, and now we actually have to pass through the position. So we're just going to do position. We could also have called this pose, but oh, I think it's going to be fine. Okay. So now um, we are actually going to need all the elements which are in our item right here, and we're just going to need to assign some text and all this to that. So the first thing we have in there is actually a text view, and I'm just going to call this. Okay, let's just uh, you know import this. Let's see. So this is kind of the contact name. So we're just going to do name, and then we're just going to do the find view by D thing, which we've done for like so many things. So I'm just gonna do it right now, but now this is actually gonna be quite different because we actually have to use view dot 
find view by ID. So this is the difference here. So we're just gonna do R dot ID and then I think contact name should be here. Okay. So now we got our contact name and now once we're done with that, um we're actually going to need to set the text. And we actually created this contact class right here and this is where all of our um getters are going to be coming in quite handy. Um so we're we are just gonna use all of these. So to do that we're just gonna do name dot set text and now we can just pass through the current contact oh my bad oh damn it current contact why aren't you doing anything whatsoever okay and then we're just gonna do get name and this is already about it so now we're just gonna set the text to the current contact and we're just gonna set the text here Okay, so this is how that works, and now I'm just going to do this for all of the other text views right here. So, um, yeah, um, I'm just going to fast forward this, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is already about it right here. And uh, by the way, guys, I'm actually going to be updating this whole tutorial series. No, actually, not updating, but I'm gonna basically add some stuff in future tutorials. So we are going to add an image to the contact and all this stuff, and we are even going to talk about data storage options. But for now, we're just gonna make this basic app. I just want to finish it, and then we're gonna get into some of the advanced stuff. All right. So now we created all of our uh, our view right here and we set all the text on the view and all that stuff is really done right here so now all we have to do is we have to return that view so we just gonna do return view simple as that so now we just edited all of you and now finally we just gonna return it okay so this is actually about it for this contact list adapter but now what we actually have to do we have to populate the whole list view and all that so this is gonna be quite a difficult process but before we actually gonna get into populating this whole list view we are first need to populate the, ch uh, the, the the list we have so basically just a contact list right here so to do that uh, we're gonna need to create another void and um, I'm just gonna need to come up with a name oh actually this is outside of the class or is it I don't know uh, this is the class 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 okay I think it's not Okay, it isn't. Okay, so now we are just going to need to um, create a void, and I'm just going to make this private right here. So it's just going to be private void populate. We're just going to do add contacts. That's going to be what it is. And now we are just going to need to change this thing a little bit because we have to add the contacts, but we're going to do all of this manually so whenever this button right here is clicked we're gonna need to add the, uh, the contact so we're gonna need to pass through some parameters so to do that well you see that's cool we could do all of this in here but I'm actually gonna keep this as a separate void because it's gonna make this a little more organized and I'm just gonna call this add contact um and now let's see what do I have up here I'm sorry because I haven't really been working on this project for quite a while so when it's click we're gonna get all of the text views and we're just gonna need to read all of the inputs and create this contact so now we ha actually need um this whatever we have right here so we're gonna need all of this so we can just take this copy this because this is exactly what we're gonna need those are the para par parameters um, we will need for sure so we're just gonna copy and paste them in here and now what we can do we can just do contacts dot add and now oh shit I'm sorry now we can just do new contact 
And now we're going to need to pass through all of these parameters. So we're just going to do name, phone, email, and address. So this is exactly what we're going to do. And now we basically just added our contact right here. So now we are pretty much done with that. We are going to need to uh, get our list view done. And this is going to be a little harder than before. So this is really going to take quite some time but uh, before we get to this I think I'm just gonna add this right here the contact so I'm just gonna do the on click event and we just gonna do add contact is this even the button okay I think it is okay so so we just going to do add contact and now we are gonna go up here to the name txt stuff and all of this. So we're just gonna pass through the name. So name txt dot get text. Then we're gonna do phone txt dot get text. And we're gonna do email txt and so on. So um I'll be back in a second. Okay? Um so now you're gonna see that this throws a couple of errors, or actually just one error for each one of these uh, parameters. So now we actually have to put two string because this returns an additable. So I'm going to do this for all of the parameters and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so now you can actually see that we are pretty much done with this. So a contact has been added and now I'm just going to make a message. So we're just going to do the same thing we did before. So toast it makes... Okay, so we're just going to need to put a uh, get application Alright, okay, this is low case, I'm sorry. So just get application context, and then we're just going to need to put the text. So just as a char character sequence. So basically a string. Um, and we're going to do, uh, do um, name txt. Oh, sorry. Name txt dot get text dot to string. And then plus has been added to your your contacts. And we're just gonna do an exclamation mark. And now we're just gonna need to put the duration, so I'm just gonna do length short. And then just dot show and oh dot show and we're done. Okay. So this is already about it right here. So um this is it for the tutorial. Now I'm just gonna show you how this project looks right now. Okay? So now you can see the contact creator, so now we can just type in, as an example, I'm just going to do my name, Johnny. And now we're just going to put some random number in here. Then the email, um, I'm just going to use the intro code one, intro code dot org. And then my just address, it's the Dinkleton Street, Dinkleton, Dinkleton, okay, Dinkleton Street 4. Okay, and now we can just add the contact, and now it's going to say Johnny has been added to your contact. Now, as I said, this list is actually not going to show all the contacts yet, but we're going to do this in the next tutorial, and the next tutorial is going to be uploaded pretty soon, so you guys don't actually have to wait that long for this. So, as I said, I'm back, guys, and I'm even going to start up another series pretty soon, so for everyone who's interested in game development, um, you will really like the series. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and to much peace.